An old missionary couple had been working in Africa for years, and they were returning to New York City to retire. They had no pension. Their health was broken. They were defeated, discouraged, and afraid. They discovered they were booked on the same ship as President Teddy D. Roosevelt, who was returning from one of his big game hunting expeditions. No one paid much attention to them. They watched the fanfare that accompanied the president's entourage with passengers trying to catch a glimpse of the great man. As the ship moved across the ocean, the old missionary said to his wife, something is wrong. Why should we have given our lives in faithful service to God in Africa all these many years and have no one care a thing about us? Here's this man come back from a hunting trip and everybody makes much makes much over him, but nobody gives two hoots about us. Dear, you shouldn't feel that way, his wife said. I can't help it. It doesn't seem right. When the ship docked in New York, a band was waiting to greet the president. The mayor and other dignitaries were there. The papers were full of the president's arrival, but no one noticed the missionary couple. They slipped off the ship and found a cheap flat on the east side, hoping the next day to see what they could do to make a living in the city. That night, the man's spirit broke. He said to his wife, I can't take this. God is not treating us fairly. His wife replied, why don't you go to the bedroom and tell that to the Lord? A short time later, he came out of the bedroom, but now his face was completely different. His wife asked, Dear, what happened? The Lord settled it with me, he said. I told him how bitter I was that the president should receive this tremendous homecoming when no one met us as we returned home. And we had finished, it seemed as though the Lord put his hand on my shoulder and simply said, But you're not home yet.